Hello everyone, hi there internet. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron N 5010 model here. And these laptops are kind of old but they are still really good because they have an iCore 5 processor even it's a 4 uh, core processor. You can, I made a video how to upgrade the RAM but in this video I'm going to show you guys how to boost up the performance humongously by replacing the mechanical hard drive with a solid state drive or if your mechanical drive is broken it's not working you want to replace it with a higher capacity you can place it in you have the choice to decide i would recommend you guys go with a solid state drive which are much better and than mechanical drive also remember once you do replace your hard drive you will not have any operating system installed in the seat in the laptop so when you boot up you will tell you there's no boot drive in this case, I made a specific video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in my video description. And I'll make another video how to install Windows 10 of your boot drive in, on a Dell laptop. Again, those links are in my video description. All right, the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. You will need an opening tool. If you want to get the pro version, you get some tweezers and opening tools uh, from there. Otherwise, you can just grab your own opening tool. In this case, we're going to use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. And we are going to use some curved tweezers and some uh, straight tweezers. Okay, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. So we need to remove the battery, pull the battery out slide it out now we're going to remove first the cover for the ram cover it has a c lock on it just twist and bring it up remove the dvd drive by removing one screw right here be careful when you remove the dvd drive here don't yank on it that's why they give you this kind of hinge right there so you put your screwdriver right there and pull it this way so this dvd drive comes out much easier all right, now next we're gonna remove the screw right in here under the cover. Okay. Next, we are gonna use a tweezers to remove the rubber legs on here, covers. So just puncture through them. On every corner, there should be one. In the front end, there is a whole row of them. All right, once you remove those rubbers, now we're going to start removing all the screws that you see on the bottom cover, everything. So go ahead and remove all of them. As always, if you guys like my videos and helping you guys out, if you want to support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And it will be a great support to me and to the channel. So once you remove all the screws at the bottom cover, there are... Uh, Two types of screws, the medium sized screws that they go all over the place and four short screws. These four short screws, they go right here, here, this place right here. This is where the hard drive is and this is this screw hold the hard drive in place right in here. Well, once we remove all the screws, just double check, make sure you didn't miss any. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the laptop. We are going to remove the keyboard by removing these tiny hinges at the back, just pull them back and put the guitar open right there and there's a tiny clips, so you have to push them back and this is actually good so you can clean up your keyboard too and bring it up, slide it out and put it in this position and lift it up this lock only comes up and you slide the keyboard backward you can remove the trackpad Uh, on off switch this one i believe is the led lights once you remove those now we're going to remove the screw right here one two three four five screws right here all right once you remove those now we're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to stick it between the top and the bottom cover just like this and we're just going to wobble it around like move twist it around and you should see the separation between the top and the bottom cover 
do this all around in the front row. You should have your clicks and this palm rest should come out pretty easy. Just wiggle it around, lift it up and it will make a big crank because of the clips right in here and it will come loose. And the hard drive is right over here. Now that we have the hard drive in here, to remove the hard drive is really simple. We already removed the screws on the bottom. Just bring it up in a little bit of 30 degrees and just slide it out. Bring it out. And this is your hard drive. This is a Samsung. How much gig is this one? 640 gig. Weird number. 640 gig, 5400 RPM. So pretty much all you need to do, there's no carry or anything. Grab the new hard drive, SSD and slide it right in there or grab a bigger uh, hard drive and slide it right in the connector all you need to worry about is that the connector in there matches the connector the SATA position the short one and the long one has too much so if I try to put it the other way around it will not go through okay so pretty much this is just for demonstration you can place them whatever hard drive you want so a slim one, bigger thick one, this is 0.7 millimeters profile. So that's how it goes. Just bring it in here and just squeeze it right in there. Once you have the hard drive in there, and the next thing would be to just grab the bottom cover and put down the back end by the LCD down. And you wanna squeeze, pinch the top and the bottom cover together. Now you wanna slide down, open up the lock slide down the flex cable under the lock and lock it down same thing in here open it up slide it right underneath and lock it down it's easier with the tweezers there we go and lock it in place and now all you need to do is put the screws on the, the palm rest here Okay, once you put all the screws, you want to grab the keyboard, bring it down in this position, grab the rubber cable, flex cable, open up the lock, slide it right in a 45 degree all the way towards the lock, push the lock over, put the palm rest down in the front, put this side down, and then push down the side, make sure you hit those tiny clicks, and then close the lid, flip it upside down, Slide down the DVD drive right in there. And next, put the short screws first on the hard drive. And once you put the short screws on the hard drive, and the rest of the screws goes all over the place, and the bottom cover goes on top. So let's put the screw for the DVD drive. And now we're gonna put the screw right on the cover here. And grab the RAM cover service, put it on top, smack it down, put the screw. And the last thing is to put on down the bottom screws on the cover, and then put the rubber legs right on the corners and in the front row. As always, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. And also don't forget, if you want to know how to install the Windows, how to create Windows 10 USB drive, click the link on my video description and then you can check my other videos how to create or how to install Windows, if you guys don't know how to. As always, thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screw.